Hello, it's hard to imagine that March is here already. <laughs> it just feels like time is going so quickly. And we have so much to talk about today and so much to celebrate. March is Women's History Month and we have our own little story within our Bridgeton community. I'm um, really talking about a trailblazer, Dr. Mary Bacon. Dr. Mary Bacon was a physician who lived in Bridgeton in um, 1918. She worked tirelessly in the community, going door to door, really caring for her patients. She was known as just a, a force of nature. And it was that force of nature that took her 23, two, three, 23 years to apply for privileges until she was allowed in as a uh, member of the Bridgeton Hospital staff. That perseverance, that dedication did not just stop with her own arrival as a member of the Bridgeton staff. She worked for 18 years with Dr. Leonard Scott to get him on the staff, our first African-American physician at Bridgeton Hospital. I talk about these things not to embarrass us that they happen, but to remind us that because of the perseverance of others, because of the dedication and really looking for that justice, we have this rich history and this vibrancy in our own community today. And Spirit continues our commitment to that every single day. And one of the ways we show you that is in some of the recognitions that we receive. I wanna to speak today specifically about the Beacon Award that our um, medical intensive care unit and the progressive care unit in Vineland, as well as of our intensive care unit in Elmer received. This award is in recognition of both patient outcomes as well as how happy or patient satisfaction. And it is from the nursing component and the physician component working hand in hand to make sure you know the level of care is not just good because we tell you it is, but these outside recognitions really help achieve that. I wanna thank the teams at Vineland and Elmer for your great work, for your continued perseverance every single day to excellence. And I'm so grateful um, to work shoulder to shoulder by you. And speaking of shoulder to shoulder, one of the things we know that plagues our community and our country um, is obesity. Really struggling with all of those things that come along with it, unfortunately. Obesity, you have diabetes, you have high blood pressure, you have all of these other conditions and your quality of life is really difficult. I really wanna give a tremendous shout out to our bariatrics program. We really have achieved these national recognitions in bariatrics um, in both Mullica Hill and Vineland to make sure you know that we've got the full program there to be able to assist you on your weight loss journey and on, your, and on those programs. So please make sure you know, just like as we worked on the Beacon Award to affirm our excellence, that we've brought these services to the community to have them easily accessible to you because we know that this is something we have to work on together. And speaking on working on together, um, I really want to do a shout out to my good friends, Betty and Gary Galloway, uh, dedicated and spirit donors, um, active members of our community, made a sacrificial gift to be able to invest in the future of our neuro program. A family medical crisis had them come face to face um, with our neuro intensive care units. And um, Betty and Gary talked to me about what are the things that we could do um, to affirm that these services continue and go and move on. As we worked with Lydia Stockman, who oversees all of our hospitals, and Terry Veneziano, who has now um, been promoted to our chief nursing officer, they talked about the need to ensure that we provide opportunities for our nursing team to get um, a le higher level of skills in the neuroscience area. Two of our own nurses, Jessica Pasitti and Daniel Opperman, were the first um, awardees and they talked so meaningfully about what it meant um, for them to be able to um, go gain this expertise and to be able to then come back um, and share it with others and encourage others to go forward and take on this challenge. And Betty and Gary have committed an additional gift to continue to expand our neuroscience program. As you know, last year we announced our Cooper Neuroscience Program that really brings the Cooper expertise to our communities, be able to provide those services day in, day out with us. And Gary and Betty's gift will continue to allow us to increase that expertise and make sure that we have all the services you could possibly need. So I thank Betty and Gary for their tremendous gift. It's another way to be able to demonstrate just how that, um, legacy gifts can go on and make sure that our community continues to remain strong. And just like Dr. Bacon, we remain strong together. So I thank Betty and Gary for their tremendous gift. I thank all each of you for your trust in us. And we work every day to affirm that. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.